The newly approved Pfizer COVID vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11 is already going into arms today. After a long wait, the shot is now available to young children across the country. And as a vaccine rolls out to pharmacies, doctors and other locations, parents, of course, have uh, plenty of questions about where and how to get it. Dr. Julie Holland is a pediatrician. She's a vice president of pediatric primary care with the Chicagoland Children's Health Alliance. And there you see her smiling to answer some of our questions. Hello to you. Hi, how are you guys doing? Great. So I'm wondering what parents are calling you about today as they hear about this Pfizer vaccine now available for kids 5 to 11 years old. What are some of their main, main concerns, main questions? So I think parents want to know, is it safe? And the answer to that is yes. It's a really well-studied vaccine with um, side effects similar to the adult vaccines, probably a little less side effects in the kids. Um, it is important to know it's a different dose and it's a different volume. And so kids will be getting a different version of the vaccine, not just the adult vaccine. Um, so we're not anticipating any significant differences between adult and kids side effects, other than, like I said, perhaps a little bit less in kids. Um, and as I said, it's really safe and effective, and a lot of families are very excited to get this dose in their kids' arms as quickly as possible. One concern I've heard from parents is, you know, how do we know that long-term it's safe, considering uh, these vaccines have only been around a relatively short period? So the, this particular vaccine has only been around for a short period, you're right, but the technology behind it has been around for 10 or 20 years. And we have a wealth of experience, millions of doses with our 12 to 15 year olds and our adults. And we have a really good idea with this particular vaccine. We know the side effects. We know that obviously the clear benefits of preventing hospitalization and death. So um, yeah, I think it's a reasonable question to ask, but I think the answer is really reassuring that it is safe and it is effective. And one of the questions that I hear from parents who, you know, maybe have an 11 year old who's about to turn 12, they'll say, look, is it better for me to have my child wait another six months to get maybe the adult dose of the vaccine or should they get it right now while they're still 11? Do you have any input on that? I would get the vaccine now. I think if your child is 11, that the 11 year old dose will work quite well and be very effective. There's really no good reason to wait to get a higher dose a few months away. Do we know anything about how the kids version of the vaccine impacts a child's ability to transmit the virus? So when kids get the vaccine, it really prevents them for the most part from getting the disease. The transmission that might occur with those kids that are vaccinated is if they have a breakthrough case in a few months or many months. So for the bulk of kids, they'll get the vaccine, it'll work very well, and then they won't be transmitting the infection unless they have a breakthrough case. And we know with the adults and the teenagers, there is some breakthrough case. There are some breakthrough cases, especially several months after vaccination, but that's really a very limited concern right now. Remember, a lot of these kids have been um, at home wearing masks, not participating in their activities, not seeing their grandparents and other relatives at family gatherings. So this really represents for kids a return to a lot of the things they used to do pre-COVID that they haven't been able to do. You know, you mentioned earlier that you've got a lot of excited parents about the vaccine calling you. Are you getting the same level of excitement that we got at the initial phase of the vaccine rollout where there were people waiting in line to get the vaccine? They couldn't find appointments. You're not seeing that level of excitement, I assume. Um, I think we will just on a smaller scale. Um, so those parents, and it's about a third of parents who want the vaccine right now, will be working pretty hard in the next few days to get yeah. their kids hmm. a, an appointment somewhere. But again, this is only five to 11 year olds. We're not talking about the entire population, adult population of the United States like we were before. Hmm. So if there is a bit of a backup, it should clear up in a few days or a week at the most, and people should be able to get shots within a week or two. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, Dr. Julie Holland, again, pediatrician and the vice president of pediatric primary care with Chicagoland Children's Health Alliance. We appreciate your time. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. A boost to people looking for a new job.